how to create a vendor registration page on Squarespace. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to create a registration for events page into your Squarespace website. It is very easy and very simple. This option is integrated within the Squarespace website that you have created. So in case you didn't see it, I'm going to uh, present to you this method and also this feature and we are going to highlight it and showcase it in this video. So all you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end, and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over to squarespace.com, then you are going simply to sign up or sign in for an account, then you are going to visit the dashboard of yours. Once you are on the dashboard, you are going to select the website that you are going to work with. So in my case, I will go ahead and select the first one, because all of the rest of the websites are expired. Now we are going simply to see here the pages or the website itself. We are going to wait for a little bit until the loading screen or the loading page will go ahead and finish setting up. Now we are going simply to visit the pages. And now, as you can see, we are going to see the pages or the main navigation at the top. So the first thing that you need to do is to click on the plus button, which is add a new page. And from here, you are going to see all of the elements or the pages, collections, and more options that you can add to the main menu. So we are going to search and seek for events. Right here, we are going to head over to the collections and it is situated right here. We have events, showcase upcoming events. We're going to click on it and here we have only two choices or two type of pages. We have this standard one and we have the standard one plus a, uh, as you can see here, the banner of the upcoming event. We're going to select the more maybe fancy one and then we are going to name it. For example here, I'm going back to the name of it. So I'm going to rename it. It doesn't matter. So it has been gone. So you can go ahead and add some events right there. We have upcoming and past events. Or for each event that has been finished, it will go ahead right there to the past events. If you want right here to add another event, you are going to click on the plus sign here, and then you are going to see the event. So we have here a new event. You're going to type in here at the event title. For example, we are going to set up here a group meeting or e-commerce, for example, e-commerce group meeting. So right there, we are going to set e-commerce like that. Here we have the details. You are going to set up here the event start date and also the event as, uh, end date. So let's start right there. We are going to put here the October 23 and the time we are going to either go ahead right there and set it. So we have from uh, 12 a.m. to we are going to set up here maybe 10 a.m. like that. And for the end date right there or the event end, we're going to set it here for the 23, which is the same day. We're going to set it here at 2 6 p.m. Like that. Boom. We are going to click on save. Now we are going to see here the event. So we are going to write here uh, a title about that event, event for example. We're going to back to all of the events right there. We're going to click on it. You can select the section and edit it. For example, we have the format. For example, you are going to put it medium. You can change the color of the, the page or the, uh, as you can see here, the fonts. Uh, now we are going to click here to save. You can also modify the, as you can see here, the header or edit the section as you see. So right there, I'm going to exit it. This is the event page or the first page of the event. You can go ahead and see the settings of the page. From here, you are going to see the content, the date and time. You can add a featured image. For example, I'm going to add a featured image. 
this is uh, the iPhone image that I'm going to add. This is just for an example, not something else. So here we have the excerpt. You can write here the excerpt about uh, the event. For example, this is going to be a event on how we can, uh, for example, scale or upscale, for example, sales. This is just an example. For here, we are going to see here the event URL or the slug, the author, the source URL, and here we have some options like the status. We're going to set, set it as published, for example, like that. And then you are going to add some tags. Go ahead and add some tags, for example, e commerce. Boom, we are going to set up here a meeting, coaching, and etc. Now we are going to add some comments. Uh, featured events, you can go ahead and uh, pull up here some featured events. We have some SEO, um, as you can see, uh, helper or assistant. You can go ahead and see the uh, title or the snippet of the event on Google or on the um, search engines. You can go ahead and put a SEO title, which is going to be optional but very effective. SEO description, also optional, but it is very effective for some. Uh, friendly uh, search engine optimization. We have some social images. You can go ahead and see the social preview. Also some images, go ahead and add the same cover. Uh, now we can also add or share it and connect some social media accounts and set up the location of that event. When you finish, you're going simply to save it. And here we have it. For example, here we have an event and this event is going to be something like this. So these are the events that we can see. You can go ahead and select them, delete them or duplicate them. For example, for this one, I have uh, this one and you're going to set it like this. This is the page of it. If you want to edit it, click on edit and you're going simply to have here some, as you can see here, modification about the date, the uh, snippet. You can go ahead and see the tags. Here we have it and the uh, edit section option. So you can go ahead here and modify the section and you cannot unfortunately modify or add something to this section like we have used to do on other pages. So that was for the events. You can go ahead and uh, duplicate any of the events that you want and this is uh, the uh, whole page of the event. So we are going to see here the home page of the event. This page can, could be modified. For example, as you can see, this is the whole um, uh, collection of the event page. So you are going to add, for example, some sections. You are going to uh, set up here uh, some blocks and etc. You can add a section and this section could be whatever you want. You can set a scheduling, sell some products into the same page right there and see the resume of each event. So if you want to see an event, you are going to click on view event and boom, here we have it. You can also modify the uh, cover image or see here the upcoming events and etc. That was all for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one.